Just sitting here and enjoying the outdoors in southern Indiana. A little overcast, but you know what? Getting a little hungry, a little peaked. I'm thinking... I'm thinking pizza. But not just any pizza. I'm thinking, what if you could have a really good pizza, except it's low carb? And it's actually good for you. So we're going to make a mini personal pizza with mushrooms, onions, and little sweet peppers. And make it like the good old days. My childhood, I had a place I used to go to and I... Brought my daughter there as she grew up, and then brought my wife there, and you know, they just fell in love with it, but then it went out of business. So, what what's a guy to do? So, I says, uh, you know what, I probably can't duplicate it to the T, but I could put come pretty close. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, there's low carb solutions for like uh, pizza crusts that you don't have to store in the freezer, you don't have to store in the fridge, you can just shelf. It's shelf stable and it's delicious. So we're going to use that and we're also going to um, use our Black & Decker uh, air fryer toaster oven to make this beauty. And. Uh, I think you're going to really enjoy it. You can add meat too if you want, um, but this round we're just going to go meatless um, and see how it turns out. So get ready for some great food. Folks, I'm so excited about this episode. This is going to be way, way beyond your expectations, uh, especially because uh, we're going in a low carb direction. Uh, carbohydrates, everybody knows, eh, kind of kind of bad for you because they once once you consume them, they get converted into sugar, and then it gets stored in the body as fat. So less carbs, better, better result <laughs> basically. So, but we're gonna we're gonna do this pizza without the compromise of taste, and that's the problem with uh, low carb foods. Uh, they usually taste like uh, sawdust or tree bark or you name it. It's just, it's, it's not a pleasant, fun experience, but you want all the goodness of the flavor and the food, and you want to make it as palatable as possible and still get nutrients and without the carbs, without the carb load. So here we go. Get ready for some great food. So this is our list of ingredients today. We've got Pam spray for the uh, baking sheet that we're going to make the pizza on. Um, and uh, we have Contadina Squeeze Pizza, Pizza Squeeze, which is a delicious, uh, delicious pizza sauce. It's five, got five grams of uh, carbohydrates, uh, five grams of sugars. So if you're watching your sugar, um, this is not a bad, not a bad option. Uh, we have a uh, sweet um, yellow pepper. Uh, onion, mushroom, and mozzarella to go on top. And this is our pizza crust. Uh, I took it out of the package because I already made one, but it was delicious, by the way. Uh, but we got two more left here, and these are low carb as well. Uh, they're pro made for protein, basically, so uh, it's a good uh, a good substitute for pizza dough. We're going to be making all of this in our Black & Decker air fryer toaster oven. It's a combo, actually. Model number uh, TO1787SS. There's the manual. Uh, good potato tots, too. But um, uh, this thing is amazing. It's a, quite an addition to our collection of uh, appliances here that uh, makes, makes life a whole lot easier out here on the road. Because uh, it does toast fantastic. Um, I've uh, air fried steaks in it, uh, 
fish fillets. It, it just, it, it can cover it all basically. Um, so this and the pressure cooker together are just a, an unbeatable combination. So uh, without further ado, let's get to assembling that pizza. Okay, so this is our tray that goes into the uh, pizza, uh, or the pizza oven. It will be a pizza oven today. Um, into the Black & Decker air fryer toaster oven. And this is a, a, a drip tray that goes in the bottom right here. And it just slides right out, just like that. So when we put it back in the oven, we're gonna just put it right on top of the, the uh, um, baking rack and uh, make our pizza that way because it's got heating elements on the bottom of the oven and on the top. So that's, uh, and then they, they have a fan in there that does the circulation for the air frying. So what we're gonna do here with this is we're going to spray Pam on, on the uh, cheese. Now, the reason we do this, one, we don't want it tearing when we take it off to put it on a plate, uh, and two, um, it makes it super easy to place a spatula underneath to uh, pick it up. So let's place our pizza dough under there. Okay. And then we're going to use a little plastic spoon to put the sauce on, just like in a real pizzeria kind of, sort of. You don't want to go right to the edge with a pizza sauce. That's the job for the mozzarella. Okay, so we'll spread the, the sauce out on the shell here. Nice and even. But leave room for the mozzarella on the edge to hold everything together. It's like, it's like the food glue. A little low moisture mozzarella on the shell. Just enough. Now remember, this isn't a giant pizza, so uh, you know moderation. The taste is going to be giant, but uh, you just want to get enough on there to put your toppings on. That'll kind of blend right into it. Okay. Now we're going to set this off to the side and get ready to chop some veggies. Okay, we're going to get a little little bowl here to uh, put our veggies in once we're uh, once we get them all chopped up. So we'll start with the mushroom. That isn't looking good. I don't know what it is. Wait till you taste it. Okay, there we go. Mushrooms go in. Now we got a onion. Peel this bad boy. And the way I like to do the onions on these pizzas is put it in rings. I know it's not traditionally how people do it, but it, it, the presentation is a little, little more, uh, I don't know, fancy, if you want to use that word. There you go, get the outer shell off. There we go, get it, peel it, peel it like an onion. <laughs> um, and then cut the bottom off here, and then Dispose of the waste and just cut it in slice formation. And that should actually be enough right there. So we'll see when, once we uh, separate it, see how many rings we get. There we go. So separate it just like that. And you will see how, how pretty it comes out. Okay. Yeah, that should do. All right, remember this is just one pizza for one person. Now on these peppers, 
We uh, procure these at Aldi's. Just cut the top out. That's where all the seeds are. Pop the top. Yeah, hardly. Yeah, there they go. Okay, and then just cut these in rings as well. And they're sweet, sweet peppers, mini sweet peppers. Uh, very delicious. Slice here very carefully. There we go. Okay, in it goes to the mix. All right. So let's bring our pizza back up and let's dress this bad boy. Now, don't limit yourself to. Uh, my my uh, ingredient list here you can have anything you want on a pizza you, you, if you're a pizza lover you know pizzas are pizza you can make them whatever you want however desirable this is just my version of a veggie pizza and like I say this is uh, it's about as low carbohydrate as you can go Oh boy, boy, it's like a little little mountain of pizza goodness. See a little a little bit will get you a long ways here. Okay. There we go. Now back to the mozzarella and top this off, and that will give you your golden delicious goodness when you uh, put it in air fry mode uh, and if you don't have an air fryer toaster oven that's okay um, you can use the broil setting and still get pretty close to the same effect It's going to be so good. All right, so into the oven it goes for 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll do an additional two minutes on air fry mode, and that should put it to uh, right to where we need it to be. Okay, we're going to turn the uh, timer to 10 minutes and put it at three, 350. There we go. She's all set. Oh, boy. But you can't wait. Okay, timer just went off. And so what we're going to do here is set it for another two minutes roughly and put it on an air fry. That looking good. Oh, yeah. Now, depending upon how, how well done you like your pizza, one to two minutes on air fry mode or broil is just fine. You just want to get the... the the cheese to brown up just a bit. There we go. And in this case, one minute was just good enough. All right. Coming over, we're going to plate it. There we go. Let it cool off for a little bit and get it ready, get ready to slice her up. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be so good. We'll let it cool off for just a second here. And uh, we will cut this bad boy. All right, let's give her a little slice here. Don't have a traditional pizza slicer, but this will do jazz as well. All right, we'll let that cool off just a little bit more, and that way we won't burn the roof of our mouth when we uh, enjoy it. 
Okay, we are ready to eat. Like this. Look at this. It smells good. It looks good. And what's that sound? Oh, it's sound of refreshment. All right, let's uh, let's try it. Let's try a piece here. Okay. All right, here we go. very tasty it's holding everything together even though it's super thin uh, the veggies are done to perfection the cheese well <laughs> the cheese is the best part come on can't really excuse me can't really do a stuffed crust pizza on this uh, particular crust but who needs it? Who's, who's, who's going to miss it? All right. This is just so good. Uh, mm. These protein wraps that uh, I'm, mm. oh my gosh, uh, that I made the the pizza on, I got mine at Kroger um, in the uh, pasta aisle with the uh, the other pizza crusts like Bubbly and you know all those other brands. But uh, this one, for the carb count and just just the taste and, and the performance, you, you can't say no. Mm. Highly recommend it. Take a little swig. Like and subscribe to the video. Tell all your friends we're making more great food out here and it doesn't take that much time or effort. That's the nice part. Uh, because being a truck driver that I am, don't have a whole lot of time between dispatches. And that's a good thing because you're out here to make a living for your family and you want to keep uh, rolling and keep energized. And uh, you know, Good nutrition is an important, important part of the, uh, the job out here keeping yourself fed properly. So with that being said, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for enjoying some great food with me. And I hope you try this recipe out yourself. I really do, because it'll be totally worth it. Cheers. <laughs>